There, it's recording. Yeah. about the ARPA and council's ideas around that. So with, with council's blessing, I would like to add an ordinance to talk about Euclid Avenue and redevelopment of that. And I would like to add an ordinance to talk about Euclid or uh, the EDA grant. I, uh, I need to say this before you get started. I came out of my house yesterday, and it was a piece that I'm going to show both of you. I'll go down and get it. It was in, on the street, flying up and down the street, and I was going to pick it up and throw it in the trash. So I picked it up, and it was, uh, they had all the council people on it, uh, and it said that I didn't support the Lee Road project, that I fired two clerks, which I have no power to do. And just a lot of crap, and it's untrue. So, and I'll go get that when we get through. So that's got me with a lot of reservations about this. I'm almost ready to just leave mm -hmm. because I don't like that kind of stuff. I don't so, like it. Councilman okay. Martin, come on. We, we can talk about that at length at your discretion. All right. Right. I'm sure you have much thicker skin than that. Well, no, so, that that's not the issue. The issue is, uh, I've been at this game for 28 years. Uh -huh. So ain't nothing new to me. But the dirty little underhanded stuff to go down, I do not, I don't like that. And it makes me, at this point, say, just forget about it, period. Okay. And the, the, the mayor wrote all misspellings, the words was wrong, the grammar was messed up, which is a messed up piece. Let, okay. let, let, me, let me say this. All right. And then we can move on. Yeah. Last election cycle. You know how they got these cameras? That videotape? Mm hmm My neighbor across the street got you in front of my mother's house and showed it to me. The last election cycle. So let's just move on. Uh, we let's just move on. Okay, you talk about let's just, like you let's just move on. You want me to go? Let's point on order. Let's point on order. You can't hear to talk about let's that. Just move on. Not on the agenda. Councilman Mark. Yeah. Let's just move on. Not on the agenda. You know, because you, 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 I guess that was you. I'm supposed to let's just move on. What went down with me? I don't care what happened. Five or ten. Of course not. Okay, because cool. it didn't affect you, it just affect me. Let's okay. just move on. But it affect me. Let's just move and on. It's not true. We'll deal with that one. It's not true. Councilman. And I'll show it to you. Councilman, let's okay. deal with it. But let's deal with this first. Let's handle the business of the city first. Can we do that? Please. Please, Councilman. The business let's, of the let's handle the business of the city. Have you seen this piece? We'll look at it. We'll look at it. Please. Okay. Let's handle the business of the city. All right. Now. Can I get council to make a motion? And we can put these two pieces on the floor for discussion. We'll bring Keisha Chambers up. She'll answer any questions you have about the resurfacing of Euclid Avenue and about the EDA grant. I'd like to make a motion to that. Go wait, ahead. wait a minute, wait a minute. What I asked for, nobody on this council was holding up the Euclid project, which was that this said. We needed something in front of us to tell us why now what I did read was the work is not going to take place till November. 
So we need something concrete, can not amend, can we emotion the, and can hearsay. Can we amend the agenda and then let's talk about it? Please, counsel. Well, you got a document you can put in front of me? We got, do, we do got, our, we got our OHN here. We asked for a document. Let's, we didn't ask for Let's yeah. amend it. We only asked and then for a document. About we, didn't, we didn't need her to waste her time. To come no we, we only asked for, ask for a document. Yeah, yeah we only <laughs> asked for a document. That's all we asked for is a document so, so we can finish so we doing the streets. Counsel. We, we, we got now. So let's, let's can, utilize, let's not, utilize, excuse me, let's utilize this hour we, and cover all of this. Let's get to the article, right? Can we talk about you put out? Please. I, I'm reluctant to say no based on, on this, but since she's here, but I need, I'm going to let, I'm going to yield, but I need something in writing, not rhetoric and verbiage. Can, okay. we, can we put it on the floor and talk about it? I'll do that. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Since she's here, and I out of respect, because she's been very good for us, okay, but the question that, that I raised, and I'll let this go, give me something that I can read, not verbiage. Like she came, we she wasn't permitted on the on the last meeting we had to speak, but I need a, a document in front of me that I can read. Then I can go to the people who I know this stuff and say, is this is this okay? So since she's here, I'm 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 going to be kind. Thank you. Okay, and, let's, let's and do it. Let's do it, please. Okay. I'd like to make a motion to wait the 24-hour rule and add ordinance number. I believe it's 5121 mm -hmm. to tonight's agenda. Uh, to tonight's agenda and ordinance number. Um, what's the other one? 5221? 5221. Yeah, we got Okay, I know. Second. Okay, refresh me with. I know 5121 is the Euclid thing. What is the other one? EDA grant for the high speed fiber. Is that state the state money? or, or what? That is federal money. $500,000 match on some. And we'll, we'll discuss all of it. It's, it's for discussion. So, so councilman. Let's go ahead and pass both of them, and then we'll have discussion on it. We, we need to discuss okay. it. You know, I, I'm so not we, going to delay it. Let's got, go with it. We've got it. I'll discuss it. Okay, do you got the second? It. Yes, yes. Okay, let's go. Council go. Clerk, can you call the roll? Okay. Councilor Stevenson? Stay. Councilor Gowdy? We might as well discuss it since she's here. Let's just okay, discussing. Yeah. Only, only discussing. We can't do nothing in this anyway. Okay. We can't vote. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
Thank you. Keisha Chambers, can you please come up and let's get into both of these? Sure. Hello, counselors. And Hello thank there. you for letting me come today to walk you through what has transpired with the Euclid Ave Avenue Water Main Replacement Project. So the City of Cleveland, Division of Water, awarded East Cleveland three point let me go back, let me go back. Awarded East Cleveland two point nine um, million dollars for the water main replacement project. When we put out the bids, the bids came in more than the two point nine amount. Okay. Came in more than the two point nine amount. Mm -hmm. Their bids came in at 3.1. So we went back to East Cleveland and requested additional funds to complete this work. Per their rulings and how they set up their funding, there's only there's a portion of the work that they just do not fund, and that has to do with pavement replacement. So with that recommendation for them to provide us additional funds for the work, East Cleveland then had to commit to paying or contributing, this is really small, 80000 Was it 80 or 83000 80, let, me, let me finish the process okay. and you hear the whole All story. Right. East Cleveland had to contribute $80,000. $80,742. And these documents were sent to the clerk, so I don't know if she's had a chance to print them and okay. share them with you, but these documents have been submitted to the clerk. All right. Okay, so at that point, we were able then to approach the winning bidder and say we have the funds that we need to complete the work. At that point, mind you, we are past pandemic, um, things are opening up, that's when the bidder let us know that the price of pipe material and some appurtenances and fixtures have actually gone up. And the additional price for those supplies is $83,000. So it jumped from 80000 80, to 83000 young lady? 80000 was what we needed to pay in additional oh, to what Cleveland Water was giving us. Okay. The 83000 is now what East Cleveland is responsible for, for the increase of supplies. So if so I'm understanding that correctly, is it an, inc is it, uh, is it an increase of $3,000? From the eighty thousand to no, separate two, eighty three thousand and eighty thousand. Two different okay. Two different amounts. Right. So so when we followed up with the contractor, the winning bidder, he also said in addition to the supplies, there's also a lead time that has been added to some materials. So these materials are coming from overseas. When the pandemic happened, those overseas shipments were halted. Now that you know, we've opened back up due to COVID being over. Now they are shipping materials, but there is a demand on these materials. And they need to also manufacture the materials. So we're now at a lead time of about four to six weeks, with, excuse me, months, okay. which puts us at a start time of approximately November. November, right. Okay, I, I read that. Okay. Yeah. And in addition to the increase of supplies, because we are now in November work, labor rates change and how you conduct your business or how the contractors conduct their business in winter changes as well. So there will be an additional charge for that. So that is the information and maybe the document you're referring that we're still waiting on for Breezy to compile for us. Right. So they gave us the summary of the 83000 but we do not have the summary of the labor cost. Well, so we don't have a summary for the 83000 where is that at? Yeah. That was the initial email. He did not break down per each material line item. We do not have that. But we do have in his email that the supplies are increased at $83,000. Where is that email? That was also forwarded to everyone from the law director. So total, how much does East Cleveland have to... So right now, based on the numbers we have, mm -hmm. we're about at 160 and some change, but we know that there'll be more. So in the amendment, we estimated $180,000. And then the work cannot, because we're trying to get the materials from overseas, the work will not start till sometime in November. Correct. Okay. okay. Can, they, yeah. can they do that work in November? Yes, it's okay to do waterline work in November. Okay, I'm going to bring the chief. Okay, thank you. We want to thank you for coming. Sure. So before you go, before you go, now it starts in November. If we agree now, 
If we don't agree now, that puts it off for another four to six months. Is that correct? Right, because either which way they have to order the materials. Yes. And, and they're not going to order meantime. until the legislation is passed. Until we've signed the contract. Yes. So well, it could be conceivably, if we don't pass this legislation, if we don't pass it until September, then it won't, we won't get the materials until February. That's the pop, that's the risk we take. Yes, okay. Just wanted to make that point. I, I need to say something here about this. Sir. I don't think any, there's no council person who wants to hold this project up. Sure. No one. We just need to have the information. I will not vote on something I'm not comfortable with, or I don't have the information. That's how I roll, okay? I was never opposed to the project, okay? So I'm glad, that's why I wanted you to speak, because I wanted to hear what, you, what I read, and then we can ask questions. So we're, we're, we're ready to move on it. What I said, since we got to November, we, we can find out what we need to find out. So no, the, the material, you what, don't what, have it to you, okay, okay, well, that's when the project work will start, right? That's what, that is based on, there's a lead time. Okay. So you have to order now. Okay. If you order now, you don't get it until November. If you wait till November anytime later, you're pushing out so what, your lead So time. what you're saying, Tisha Chambers, we need to act on it now. So that, that would be best. Okay. And, and I don't think anyone's opposed to that. We just have to have that information. Anybody up here who doesn't have the right information can vote on anything. And that's where I'm coming from. Sure. Okay? All right. So... The question I need to ask you is, um, the people that's going to be working on it, is it is the same people, right? Right now, Fabrizi is the winning bidder. Yes. Okay, all right. And there's no more other bids out there? No, we, we received the bids. We had two bidders. We accepted the lowest bidder. Okay, thank you, Keisha. Thank you so much. Sure. Uh, Keisha, can, can you explain um, what is the final document that is needed? And by whom? And when do we expect for that final document to be delivered to the city? Sure. So we asked for Breezy to give us a summary of what those additional charges will be, including the supplies as well as the labor cost and what we call the method of transportation, which is based on winter winter work. Um, and we're expecting that any day now. Okay, because we was in the dark on a lot of this, but since you're speaking now, I can see clearly now because we don't get the information and we need sound documents. And uh, so and there we is can forward that to our clerk and she'll give it to us. We'll be more happy. So all the background history as mm -hmm. far as the proposals or the bids rather, the additional costs per Cleveland Water, um, you have, that's with the clerk's office. So we can send that again. Okay. And then when we receive the document from the contractor, we'll forward that over to you. We appreciate that. Excellent. We're fine with that. Yes. I am. And I am too. Thank you for yes. coming. Thank you, sir. Can, can, can I make a comment? Can I call you back up? up? Yeah. Are you ready now? Um, okay. I'm listening very well to Ms. Chambers about how the information is passed. And there has been uh, at least a week of we don't have, we don't have. And, and I, don't, I don't know what the timeline is when you sent the information to our clerk, because we have two, and I don't know which one you send it to primarily. And if there is a necessity that you send time-sensitive information to the clerk, if you could be so kind as to also send it to the president of council, whoever it might be at that time, that would truly be um, an advantage, advantage to us. But if there's some discussion and somebody doesn't have the information, they can say, yes, we have, we just have not dissected it and or provided it in the right format or whatever those disconnects are. And that's not just for you. That's so everybody in the room can hear that there's a process by which you're going to start expecting um, the process to carry all the way out to beneficial to those that may not have the information they need to be successful on the app or resident. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Last they were waiting was that actual breakdown from Dave from Fabrizi. That you promised us that she was talking about in his email. We don't have that. That's right. She said it's not available yet. Oh, all right. Okay. It's not available yet. Yeah. So that's yeah. Everything that's available. Yeah, so yeah. Everything, that's available. Yeah. So yeah. everything else we have, just that last yeah. piece from Dave from okay. for Breezy. And that's exactly what we need to wait on. Okay. So okay. that's something we can fix at Turkey. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Thank you, Keisha. Mm -hmm. All minds are clear okay. with that. We can go to the EDA. Yeah. Okay. So in September, when you, uh, when you say EDA, say um, what it is. So the economic EDA. development Thank agency you. Association, Association of the U.S. Department of Trade. Federal. Yeah, under the Department of Commerce. Right? Commerce. Under the Department Com of Commerce. Economic development agency. Agency. Okay. Under the Department of Commerce. Okay. 
So we applied September of 2020 for the EDA grant. Mm -hmm. And included in this grant was funding to install um, broadband. So this broadband would stretch the length of Euclid and even connecting with Needle um, Park. And that's the purpose of it currently right now. The infrastructure that is in place does not include fiber. And this project would install fiber um, along the main corridor. Fiber optics, fiber or fiber? Fi fiber cable. 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 Fiber, not, what? fiber for internet. Oh. From Euclid Avenue to Ivanhoe, and then from Euclid Avenue to the border of Cleveland Heights up Noble Road. So, okay. And that's high speed internet. Okay, now what's the difference? And this is my ignorance. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between what you're talking about and what the, the mayor and the governor did about a month ago over at. So that's cellular. That's cellular? Cellular. Right. That's, a, that's a radio wave signal that's sent out and captured by a receiver in someone's house. The fiber is an actual fiber that runs the length of the city <clears throat> and you have nodes bringing it out of the ground and taking it to businesses or down side streets. So you can be hardwired into that, <clears throat> into that fiber or you can do it by cellular. We want to do it by hardwired. So it's an actual fiber, fiber strands that run the length of the city. And you bring, bring it from underground through what, what are called nodes. And then you plug into the nodes so that each location can be hardwired to the internet. <coughs> is there a cost involved with this from the city? Yeah, there is. How much? $200,000. And that's what I want to ask the question about. Okay. The um, <coughs> basic cable, I mean internet, to my understanding, is 50, 55. Uh, oh, the, um, megabytes per second. Yeah. yeah, the download speed is mm -hmm. 50, 55. It's this download speed is at 25, is that, that's what I read? No, no, no this, this is the highest. This, this is like you can get up to a gig wait, off wait, of fiber. Wait, 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 wait. I want to know what, From the, what the speed of the internet is. Okay, so that's not how it works. Let me explain um, to you how it works. Could you let her speak? Could you please, please let her speak, please? This is not please. your meeting. This is the mayor's meeting. Mayor, please. May I speak? So let her speak. Council, let her speak. Council, listen. Keisha wrote the grant. Help write right. the grant. Yeah, but we need we, to know. We've been at this for four years. We've exactly. been chasing high speed fighter. Yes. We know high speed fighter. So as a tag team. Please allow them to answer your question. Yeah. It's the answer that you're concerned about, not where it comes from. Please, sir, you can all tell me what I'm concerned about he's, or where your answer is. He's getting ready to tell you. What? But all she wrote the grant. She wrote the grant. She wrote the grant. Why can't she get an answer? You know, she can answer. We do not need to call on you. They can tell you. We need to seek on what we need to know. Counselor, we won't have time to talk about ARP. We'll get you the answers. If this was your meeting, please. if this was so your meeting, please. then but I would, you, I would listen to you. It's not your meeting. We did call you up here, and, and please forgive me. We, 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 we appreciate Michael Smith. The engineers should let her answer. Yeah, please forgive us. I'm not allowing him to answer. And I'm allowing him to tag team your questions. Please. The answer is what's because important. Because we didn't get Not nothing before getting us. It. Hardly nothing before us, man. Because it wasn't necessary in the beginning. But it's it necessary because she's speaking it's necessary it now. That's why we're bringing it But don't bring it to us at the last minute. This is not this the is last minute. Ms. Counselor, can you please? Thank you. Go ahead. So, fiber does not determine, does not set the speed. It's the provider who sets the speed. The fiber gets you on the internet to the to the world, gets you out into the world. You ride on that fiber. The provider then determines how much speed he would like to sell you based on whatever you can pay. So, for example, AT&T can give you one gig of internet or it can give you three megabytes of internet. They'll give you 10 megabytes of internet based on what you can pay. The fiber will allow for any amount of speed, but it's the provider who will determine that. How much did the provider determine? That there the is no provider. 
There is no provider. At this point, there is no provider. So, okay, what, so what does this... where did 25 oh, come from then? I'm looking at it, it 25. Didn't come, it didn't so come from did this. It come from? didn't come from us. So, so let me tell you what this is. Why is you doing let, that? Let me tell you what this is. I'm, I'm talking to, my, the, to the councilman. This is a public utility. Fiber, what we're trying to do is a public utility, which means the city owns the fiber, and we will lease it to providers to ride on which means we have say-so over the cost of internet in the city of East Cleveland because they are riding on our utility. We get a chance that to make some, some money on this? We get to make money on it, and we get to help residents save money on it because we have a say-so on what the cost <coughs> is because it's our utility. For example, you've had people knock on your door trying to sell you gas because gas has been deregulated, or electricity because electricity has been deregulated. They can sell you the gas, but they're still using East Ohio Gas Company's infrastructure, their utility, their pipes. They're not changing the, the pipes coming into your house. Mm -hmm. You're just changing who you buy the gas from. That's what this utility is. It's our utility, but we, you, you have a choice of who you buy your internet from based on who we lease space to on our utility. The EDA supported this grant because they support the city having this public utility. Mm -hmm. Just like we had water, just like we had <clears throat> sewer, which we don't have anymore, but this is a utility that takes little maintenance. All right. All right. So in this grant, we have to have a, a, a match to this grant. We went to Cuyahoga County and asked them to put up some of their money to match this grant because we didn't want to use we didn't want to use general fund money. They agreed to give us half the match, and we put up the other 200000 for almost $3 million infrastructure that will ultimately save East Cleveland residents and businesses money because Internet providers would want to ride on our utility to sell Internet. And if they're riding on our utility, we have some say-so over cost. That's what this whole thing is about. So what's the time frame on this? So once it's a rolling grant, mm -hmm. once we have the match, once we have the legislation passed, we then submit it to the EDA. It'll take them about 12 to 14 months for them to approve it. But they had asked us to submit the grant because they want to help the city of East Cleveland. So it's not something that's going to happen tomorrow. It's going to take about 12 months. So the grant has not been approved. Is that what you're saying? We have to submit the grant. We haven't submitted the grant. Well, that's different because we need we the match. What we we have the match, right? Received. So what you received is the submittal of the grant. But we had to come back and do the matches. And that's what we're doing now. So if we're going to do the matches, is it $200,000 our match? 200000 is our match to what the county is putting in. Okay. Because we went to the county for the full match. They said they'll give us half. They want the city to have skin in the game. Right. So we get we put up two hundred thousand dollars to their two hundred thousand dollars for a three million dollar grant. Oh, wait a minute. So it's two hundred thousand dollars for the grant that you're writing. It's two hundred thousand dollar match. And then there's a there's another two hundred thousand? So again, let me re let me restate this. Let me say that. Let me say that. No, that's not what I said. Let me let me let me restate it. And I want everyone to think back because at least four, maybe all of you have claimed to write grants and to know about grants, right? And to know about writing grants. So that you know most institutions, when they give you money for a grant, they want you to have skin in the game. Our skin in the game. Is the two hundred thousand based on the relationship with Armin Buddhist, the county exec? I asked him for the whole four hundred thousand. So it's so to have so to have skin in the game. He said we'll give you half, That's which is the two hundred thousand. Now the four hundred now allows us to then go back to the EDA. We've got the match. We've got the cities right. and submit the grant. Can, can I make yes, um, it's not six hundred thousand. It's only four hundred thousand. Period. Period. 200 provided by the county and 200 provided by the city of East Cleveland, if we all agree. It's $200,000 from the grant. It's $400,000. It's not a $2 million for the grant. Three million. 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 Three
we don't have sure. nothing in front of us, and this this is why we get all out of order because what they are telling us, it's not on paper. It's not on paper. So we got twenty minutes left. Okay, great. So um, when I took my notes, that's right. So we're looking at three million total. Skin in the game, two hundred from the city of East Cleveland instead of four hundred thousand. Right. The two hundred was provided by the county, which yes. is clear, and we really appreciate the county support mm -hmm. and the engineer for actually going out to see this. This is something that has been discussed for years because it was stopped by a previous administration years back because they wanted to bring it all up Euclid Avenue. Do you remember that part? No. That, that is, that's, so we got to start sharing some history with, so we don't know where we're trying to get to. This is an opportunity to have some futuristic, futuristic responses for businesses that want to come here. Absolutely. If they want to get the businesses in the city, we want to have something to offer them. And so this is important. one of those opportunities to get the infrastructure in place to offer those services so that businesses can come here and Zoom instead of walking. Okay. Can we, so, can, can well, we I do want to circle back to something you said. We got to get back to the money. I need, I need get back to, get back to the speed because when yeah. I'm looking at the speed for this, it says 25. So, Councilor Stevenson, yes, you probably see 25. Okay. That's where you right. currently are. Okay. Which is the worst in the state of Ohio. Right, okay. I was getting ready to say, I know we ain't getting ready to buy 25. I'm yeah. good. Okay. Okay. Connected Nation um, is a website, Connected Nation. Look it up, they'll show you where East Cleveland stands. Okay, okay. okay. all right. That's what and, I and, that, and, and it ranges in East Cleveland from 3 megabytes to over 100 megabytes. The average may be 25, but it ranges mm -hmm. from 3. Most people who live live north of Euclid Avenue, get about three, four megabytes. People who live south of Terrace get higher, a higher connection. Those who live in Lake Park Towers, live in Owl's Nest, and in Crystal Towers, they get about 100. Megabytes per second. Because the elevator is that why? Yeah. Because, of, because it's, it's not about elevation. What? It's about how the how providers. The no. What? It's how to. It's how how the providers choose to provide service to the city. And he's speaking of uploads. Yeah. I'm, Twenty-five is your downloads. Okay. Yeah. No, no. I'm speaking about that's, downloads. That's down. Okay, that's true. Download. That's Spectrum true. gives you up to a hundred megabytes download. Yeah. Um, AT and T gives you about, on average, depending upon where you live, 75 megabytes to 3 megabytes. Um, Windstream is on their way to give a full gig of download speed. And PC for People, the project that you saw with, the sale, with those towers, they're giving 50 megabytes download and 10 megabytes upload speed. So, Keisha, I think they just want the original solicitation. From yeah, what, them, that's what, yeah, they, they have it. We sent it. We gave them a lot of yeah. that original solicitation. So, so. But I'm just. This is what I'm saying, Keisha. They send stuff to our law director, and we really don't get all that information. You, you I email that to everyone. Yeah, but you, you guys you have. Maybe you need to start checking your email. You have to read it, though. Yeah. You, you and ain't nothing wrong with that. So, other questions that. regarding the uh, EDA? All right, the, the, our aggregate our aggregate amount is four hundred thousand for this project. Yes, that's the total amount of the match. We're splitting the match with Cuyahoga County. Okay, and then we got about a year or so before all this. Yes, before it gets awarded and all that stuff. It's got to be designed and all that stuff. Yes. Uh, yeah. okay. Again. Uh, if we're going to deal with your future, this is what's happening now. We're just broad. So I read it all the time right, in the right. paper. Right. So anybody opposed to it? Yeah. We, but we need to have the information. All we're right. doing That's is introducing right. it. We're not asking you to make okay. a decision today. Right. We're just it's introducing exactly it. Okay. Yeah. So you'll, you'll get that information. Right. We're just introducing it. Right. And I, I like to get out in front of it. So that we can have this well, you, conversation. I, I like that this proactive project. move. Right. Thank you. Okay. Right. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, Keisha, could you send it to directly to the counselors because they don't seem to get it from you? And we show sure down. And and I'm the type of person, if I don't understand, I'll ask the question. I'll go to yeah. wherever I need to get. That's true. I'll go to Willa or, or Brandon or you to get some understanding because I'm not sure. Absolutely. That's how sure. I roll. Council. Council. Okay. Yeah. We got. We got. Are that's there any other question. questions for her? Yeah. Give us information. No, no, okay. I, I'm. I'm okay. we, we requested the guidelines, so that's what Willa Hammond is referring to. Okay. To Keisha to say. Yeah. So, so you Keisha, got Keisha. And, and we need the grant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's oh, going to send it. Trying to write to. So, she said she's going to send it. Okay. 
We need all that information. So Keisha, we like we like to thank you. If we can give Keisha a round of applause. Thank you. And Owen Tim. Okay. Now let's move right along in the agenda. I'd like to thank council for allowing that to happen. Remarks of the public on agenda items only. Where, 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 where is it? That's not on the agenda. We did not even hear it. That's not on the agenda. It was a mystery. How about that? Okay. How about that? I was looking at the wrong paper. It was a mystery. I'm looking at an old agenda. Let's go, let's go to discussion on the ARP. Yeah, man, now we <laughs> talk. Now, now talk. you own it. All right. Okay. Council, I'm, I'm just going to turn it over to, to you guys. I'm, I'm going to just sit back and because okay. I'm really Enjoy. interested. Well, I, I, I want to say, let, if I can, I'll, I'll say this. because this is, this, is this, is nothing, this is your Hold meeting, up. and it's Hold nothing up. to turn over okay. to us. It's nothing to turn over to us. You called you yeah. call this meeting. Okay. <laughs> so, 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 you so, call so, this meeting. Are you union power? this meeting. Let's be careful. I'm not turning this meeting.
designed to be a resident also. So the administration recommended $3,000 per resident that had to be a owner-occupied resident that the dollars could be verified that they're only going to be spent on making your house more aesthetically pleasing and repairing the things that you need around your home. However, with my experience, I noticed that a lot of prices have went up on not just the material, but also the, the labor and the craftsmanship costs have went up tremendously. So Councilwoman Gowdy had the, the creative notion that we should increase the dollars from 3000 to 5000 <coughs> And this would show a higher measure of commitment on behalf of the city because we want our city to look a lot better than it does right now. So to Councilwoman Gowdy, I say thank you. You're welcome. That would be something, if, if it's financially supportable, these are the things that, this is our wish list. Sure. It exceeds the dollars that are available. However, we understand that this may not be programmed for this block of dollars, but also considered in the next um, dollars that we receive from the government. Um, I recommended that there is a list that's three to five, three or more years behind, whether it's the paint program, porch program, electrical program, that we start exalting some of those lists and or update them in a way that a person would know I'm acting on that list because I was on the paint program list before I even got on council and I hadn't heard a peep about getting my house taken care of and in order to render me that help as a resident here. So I would like to see if those lists can be updated. So everybody that has heard my voice, I've asked, hey, if you're not on these programs or you don't know if you're on them, go get on them again or have your name verified on those lists. So whatever mechanism you can put in place here to have those lists verified. So when we say we're going to exhaust the list for like the next two years, and that would be absolutely phenomenal because people need this. Um, we, we discussed that we would actually ask the people, and this is just the number three, two and three kind of went together, but we want to actually have those folks come up here and, and update those things and make sure they are qualified for the standards that you set. And uh, I, I had a, a lady that from the building right there on Euclid and Page across the street with the multiple Brown, um, she wanted to come up and, and start talking about some of these dollars because we're the dollar information has hit the street. Now we're working on, or looking for the administration to establish the procedure in which the persons in the city should apply for. And $7 million for the streets. This is a high priority. And matter of fact, Corinne Stevenson has, has come up. This was her recommendation for, you know, that we spent $7 million on the streets. So I, and I want to know we actually allow the engineers, to, which I've asked for this, like, I don't know how long ago. We wanted a survey to be completed saying which, which streets were the worst. And those would have the priority of repairs. So we're not just you know winging it based on you know who 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 cries out the loudest. No, we want to see the repairs performed in accordance with the need for our residents, which one has the higher traffic, least passable, and have the most impact on our residents. So we want to establish some measure of priority so we don't you know resurface the street that may not need it as much. It's more aesthetic than necessity, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, we we all agree that we need more funds for the street. And, and how do we get there? And, and again, if this $7 million would cripple the plan that you have in place, we are willing to accept a portion of where, what we're asking for, just so you know that we are looking at having some um, exceptional street repair done. So that, that does matter. It's just but it's a matter of safety and, and, and not just aesthetics. Um, I also talked about some of the other grant opportunities with the Economic Development Agency, and those grants have been talked about this evening, and Ms. Chambers has inspired me to, to want to look a little bit further for more grant opportunities. The police, the fire, they have all sought yeah, out their own grants to assist uh, in the city in, in offsetting the cost for the general fund. So to the police chief who's here today, thank you. Don't stop. And, and the fire, too. Fire chief is not yeah. here today, but to him I would say thank you, and don't stop, and to the administration who's also sought out grants to help us, whether it's the um, <coughs> cost share programs that we keep active with um, um, NOPET or with the sewer district or whomever those agencies are, keeping those opportunities open and active is absolutely imperative because we are now in the recovery phase. We've been financially ill for quite some time. And we don't want to use this body of council to make us more financially ill. So when, when I say these are the things we would like to do as a body, I mean that, however, we are definitely considered to the um, necessity of supporting the plan to help our employees as well as our residents. Um, City Hall needs repairs. And what we want to do is set aside $2 million for City Hall repairs. And, and in my mind, I will tell you, Mayor King, I am, you took me to a building somewhere in the city. We talked about the cost of that building. I think that if you had $2 million, you could retrofit that building over time, and just keeping in mind that these are dollars that we want to 
allow you to do things to free up the general fund dollars. If the general fund dollars have to be used to meet the recommendations of the council, then we will, you would, we would like for you to find the reorganization in your financial structure to support what we're asking because it will benefit us in the long run. So um, set aside, um, we want to make sure that if there's an opportunity to get us a new fire truck, Councilwoman Stevenson recommended a new fire truck mm -hmm. as well as a new ambulance. So we do care about the um, safety of our residents and the capacity of our safety forces. Um, and we already talked about what we're going to do for the police, and that should already be something that's all already on there to do. Um, so these are the primary matters that we discussed in our meeting. And we didn't, like I said, we are looking for these things to be considered when the um, dollars are available, and I know that some of these things may not be covered by ARPA, and if they are not, we would like to see if there is an opportunity to um, use the right color of money to accomplish the things that we set out to do as a body. I, I'd like to jump in there and say that uh, we had a great meeting yesterday that was missed. Mm -hmm. I think we all can agree on that. Yes. All of us had input. Yes, we did. Uh, we also talked about the elevator. Yes. Okay. Uh, to see if we can get that elevator fixed. So the seniors are coming here, that it's not that mobile to use the elevator. Uh, so basically, all this is negotiable. And, and uh, I want to thank the mayor because I went up to say when we were going to have this meeting, he acted on it. Thank you very much. So the other thing is, uh, is connected with body cam. We want our police to have the best equipment they can get. There's a $10 million grant for body cams, so and we, I, I need the administration to act on it. We've been messing with it for four months now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that way, they got body cams where the, the police chief can see everything going on. It's, it's, it's just a great technology. So we need to get that done before all the money's gone. So, but we, we know this is negotiable. Uh, Gowdy had an excellent suggestion raising it from three million to five million because most of I see Mel around Leach back there, we get a lot of requests for people want to do stuff with their property. Three thousand. Three from three thousand to five thousand. Okay. So uh, I don't know all the mechanics in terms of if you have to be current with your taxes. All that okay. is what we it's what information relevant. we need. Not but relevant. it's a win win situation. I think five thousand sounds better than three. Yeah. Okay. So and so I otherwise we, we were together for a change of on, on that. All of us. Smith, Austin, all of us. Right. We agree. And, um, this, can I say one more note? Okay. Um, I did make a note about the historic fund program. It started in Cleveland, and we want to have some of those resources uh, I understand they were willing to allow us to take advantage of. And, and in that big fat pack, talk about a lot of business development and so on and so forth. And allowing some of the current business owners to have an opportunity to, obviously, through a quali qualifying method. Get the dollar for two helping with the storefronts, whether they have five storefronts or one storefront. Help and our business owners, and we need current to, business owners, to get that taken care of. And yes, and we need a list of all the people that had um, got funded of the last grant that came in and we didn't know about. Um, all the businesses got uh, money for their businesses of the last grant. Right, we, need, we need all kinds, we need, we need a listing of got. all so they won't get more money, <laughs> you know. Um, but I um, also wanted to share with you that we also need uh, a, um, for the people that choose their own contractors. Right. Because that's, that's and then right. everybody right. should have a right to this money because this is taxpayer money. And there shouldn't be no limitation of the requirements of what needs to be done. Everybody is in a strain of help. And, then, and we is always in the need of help. So it should be like Trump. He gave money to everybody. And like everybody, our governor, he didn't say, oh, because of you, did not pay up on your tax, you ain't get no money. No, don't withhold the taxpayer money from everybody. And even though that we feel, and it's got other programs and stuff, it's a big old 150 pages. It got a lot of yeah, information okay, in there, what we can do with this money. That's why I said we can have this meeting again. We need to meet again and update of what we're going to do because this is what council got to do. The mayor can have his decision of what he wants to do. He said without council that we 
we didn't even have a meeting with the mayor, and he threw out $3,000, and I feel like not picking with the mayor or throwing anything at the mayor, but the mayor did not sit down with council at all and discuss this matter. So, so $5,000 will help our residents because they may do a lot. Right, I understand. Can I make one note? Yes, please. One more note. See, I actually went through when this opportunity was introduced to me. I just happened to be in the mayor's office. He showed me a big fat packet and kind of gave me the, the once over about what we can do with it. And I took the packet home, studies and music, educational grants. I'm talking about, what I think, I'm talking about scholarships for people to go to school and, and mm -hmm. get to be but whatever you want to be. No, it's in the packet. You got to read Yeah, it. but I'm just saying we got so. the package last, but we didn't, would the mayor be giving you? He don't give to us. Uh, like, you get the first that, information. That, 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 he don't, he <laughs> have his picks. The mayor have his picks and choose who he want to give stuff to. And then when it come back on council, we don't know. And then it look like we arguing, but we don't know. We don't get the information well, I, I, that I, we should have. So I, said, well, just, I, I just want to make sure I, I clarify my point. Please. Just like y'all stated. You. I wanted, yeah, that's you know, a good example. So I want to get off my butt and, and go to the source. If I hear that there's dollars coming, I want to know about those dollars and how they're coming. <laughs> so I took initiative, went up to the source, if you will, and that's to good. ask about what was going on. And he said, well, we'll make sure that everybody gets in this. A fat packet like this was, but 12, we, was a 7 and a half by 14. It was a very thick document. Yeah, it's I a, actually read through the document on my own time, yeah. sweating at my table, eight, 9 o'clock at night going through it. So that's why I'm able to talk intelligently about these, this information, and I got a whole lot of other things that these dozens can be used for. So I don't want to stifle the creativity of the administration, but I do want to inspire us as a council that we got some work to do, and this we is going to help us get that thing done. Well, let's that's, do that's what we started on. Thank you. Let's start on yesterday. Like the Shaw Stadium, like the Shaw Stadium, we didn't have to go out with the Bob Stadium. We didn't have to go out with the Bob Stadium. We never knew. We haven't been recognized. We haven't been recognized. We haven't been recognized. So, so um, just about our there are there are four categories, and, and hopefully, we had asked that you have your clerks pull up what ARPA is in the four categories, and then there are some limitations on who have access to this money. It's not it, it's limitations based on the federal guidelines, and then there's limitations that that we're going to put on. And you can't put on no limitations so, to these so, people. So, council, so that's how the that's how the council, 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 to make decisions about Yes, it money. is. Well, then, then you, you, then you yes, go to you want to do. Yes, it is. Go to property, baby, it, it, and then mess around with business. property. I'm going to so, oversee that now, they get the, the federal right law treatment, does not, not from you. The federal law does not require us to have a piece of legislation to administer these funds. We're going to have one. Well, you can do, you can do we're going to have one. You can pass a law we're that doesn't have any teeth. We're going to pass a law and we're going to stick to it. But legally, right. Michael, we, we have to accept the funds. We're going to accept We've already it. done that. No, we have we not. Council we has have not accepted any funds. Because, 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 because some of you no. have never read the information, that's not my fault. We no, have not, not accept no. any no. funds. Any money that comes in the city. That's why it's private. We have not accepted it. No, we did not. No, we haven't. I'm done. You cannot give me shit. So let's get this gangster stuff. This is a gangster. This is a gangster bully stuff. This is bullying. We have not accepted your funds. Did you hear what he said? He used to be quiet. Did you hear what he said? What? We will help you. We will help you administer this list. No, you're not. We gonna do done. it. Okay. Okay. Our time is up. It's fine. So we gonna do it. He said he gonna get together. We're gonna work out what we need to be working. The council, council we wanna do. That's what he said. Council, council. 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 Go to the U.S. Treasury Department's website, download this information, and give it to you. I've said that at least a half a dozen okay. times. I know I've said it. The information we, is we there. We got the information. 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 We got the information.
You've given us a lot of things to think about. We got a our part right here. She's going to let you know we ain't passing nothing. Kind of massage. You have to. How do you yes, we do going? have to. Councilwoman Gowdy, when you're running the meeting and you ask for quiet, I usually be quiet. No, you don't. If I say Mayor, shut the F up, you gonna, may understand that. But listen, you is not going to talk to me Can you just be quiet and you want to suck it into something? You, you is Damn. not going to. You might I'm talk to me girl be quiet. Kind of way, but you're not going to talk to me. I'm order, asking order, you to be quiet. You're not going to talk to me. Please be quiet. I've always said please. Okay, but say please again. Two issues, right? You talked about new equipment for safety. Yes. Right? Yes. The five year forecast update is coming at you yes. for the master lease. Those vehicles are captured in the master lease. Charles is working on the five year forecast to bring back in front of you. We had a great meeting yesterday with the fiscal commission. They're waiting on it next month. So we just need to pass that. The elevator we're already looking at. Right. So the rest of the stuff we're going to have to massage and get back to you well, in that regard. Because some stuff is funded by ARPA and some stuff had to be funded by, by General. Right, that's why we come so, yes. for I, I, I like I like to think But it was no time. board there. So oh, Kareem was okay. not there. And as I she promised, was not there, so it was, as I promised, it was a we discussion. Had this meeting. Because I, I was there, Mark was there. Your right? idea. So, yes. so are, are we going to meet again or is this it? We, we can meet again. But I mean, it's just as hot as this is democracy. Yeah, because no, that's not, that's not democracy. That, that, that's you not already democracy. know. Okay. Come on. You yes, already yes, know. Yes, that's that's not not because y'all are trying to pass that something that we didn't even pass. That, that is bad as well. Y'all trying to yes, say that. Come on. Hey, Bye. Have a good day with no agenda. So, Council Clerk, I would like to adjourn this meeting. I'd like to thank you for your time. The time? Wait a minute. Before you adjourn, I just want to get clear on one thing. So, just. You heard what we said, so we have we we have input, but is that you you guys discretion? Is that what you say? We're trying to work it out with it. Yes, but we can't do that. But we're not going to tell him where the money yeah. go. He don't tell us where the but money we'll go. We'll see about that. And yes, we will. I just want to work together. Yes, yes. And we're going to work together, but it ain't going to be their cause because they is not going to put these people, our residents, in jeopardy. It is because of what they want to do. Four o five, and we're ending this meeting. Thank you.